Ready, Johnny? You do the introduction. <laughs> no, you do it. No, no. <laughs> Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? Johnny, right here. Hey, We're going to be working on an arm bar, guys. This is part two of our series, little finisher series for the arm bar. Again, there's many ways to finish arm bars. I am in no way saying that this is the best way. I am in no way saying that this is the only way. And I am in no way even saying that this is what I like to do all the time. I have many ways, but this is some stuff that I'll do. Okay, so check it out. John's on his back. Uh, let's have your head over here, John. So, okay. So I'm in here on an arm bar. Really brief. We're gonna, again, align yourself with the shoulder. You don't wanna be down here. I don't wanna be over here. I wanna be lined up. My, my feet right now are, you know, kind of snug. This is the leg that goes over his head and you wanna pull that in either tight. I didn't mention this on last video. You can have two ways. You can be straight like this over his neck or you could be pulled like this. They're both good for different reasons. This one keeps him down if he tries to sit up. It's really hard to get up. This one makes it where he can't scoot away from you. He's hugged. See that? So they kind of do, you know, but if John starts to sit up, he has a little more sit up when you do that. A little bit more. If you're like this, he can't really sit up, but he can scoot away from me a little bit. Yeah, like that. See? So. This one, pulled in real tight. Locked is the other one. I mentioned on the last video that you may have, you know, three ways. Basically locked, crossed ankles with his arm inside. See that, arm is inside. I'm not, I'm not like over his arm like this. Okay, where he could use his elbow to push me. See, to push my legs. So I'm, I'm here. Now, we're gonna have south arm. This is the south, this is the north. South arm goes through the loop, elbow deep. Once I do that, I take my right arm and I bring it in here nice and deep. John's gonna take his hands and make sure he locks and covers his hands. Not like this, because I would be able to just pull his arm. See that? I can pull his arm no problem. So he's always gonna cover the arm and he's gonna lock his wrist nice and strong so that it's, it's got a good grip. Now. Really brief, on part one, I pulse my hand and I turn my hip like this. I'm crowbarring his arm this way. So even though he's strong and he's pulling it in, I wanna make sure I turn this way. When John tries to do a sit up, he may like rock his legs. Even if he can try to sit up and take me to my back, I bite down on the leg here and he can't get up. Like try to get up, John? And he can't get up. If you guys are in the middle like this, John automatically feels. I could be pulling on his arm. See how I'm pulling back? John's fighting me. And then he rocks his legs. He can get right up. So do the rock and then get up. See that? And then now once you guys are here, you're in a fight. You got to deal with a lot of crap. He's gonna hammer fist your face in a fight. He's gonna yank his arm out. He's gonna pass your guard. Okay? So. Watch the subtle difference. Arm goes inside, deep. I take this hand, bring it all the way over. Turn my hip, rotate like this. Now, when John tries to rock and sit up, he can't, and when he does, I just bite down and I recover. Every time he does that, I recover. I go there, and if he gives me the arm, I'll take it. So he's gotta keep, he's gotta keep that. Now, last time, we went here, we leaned, I got an angle enough where I could go through and fall. And now it's like an Americana. My body weight's falling, John's gonna lose it eventually. Boom, it breaks the grip, I can straighten out, control the hand and finish the arm bar. Beautiful technique, part two. John is too strong for me. I go here and I try, but I can never get to that point. Remember the tug of war battle. If his lock is in the center line of his chest or more over here, I cannot get him. He has leverage over me. So when you're like this and you're trying, it's really tough to even get, you know, leaning and get it going. 
If he tries to use his elbow to get between the legs, turn your hips away and then sweep it up into between your legs, wrap it up. That's bad for you. You want to make sure, Glenn, let that go. You want to make sure you pull your heel into the rib cage. See that? Pull it in. I don't push it up this way if his elbow's in. If, I, if his elbow's in, I pull it into his rib cage. Once I pull it into his rib cage, try to go get it. Try to get it. Try to get it. Use your left leg. Yeah, it's tough, right? It's tough. Now look, I'm leaning. Let me mention this, guys. In a real fight, my left hand is freed up. Hammer fist to the nose. That's gonna real quick cause some chaos in his position. And eventually, I will get that arm. Because at some point, he's taking punishment, and I'm gonna get that arm. So keep that in mind. You can strike with this hand right at his face. So. We've done this, but John's secure and he's too strong. So what do I do now? Well, here's one thing you can do. Part two, I can't get him. I'm gonna retract and shoot. So I bring this through. I'm not kicking at his arm. I'm not trying. He's strong, I'm not gonna kick John's arm. That's not happening. That's a guy who has his arm nice and open and you go, huh, and you kick and separate. You're not gonna do that to John. John's too strong for me. I'm leaning, I can't get him, but I'm gonna go here and shoot through. Once I do that, watch the next step. Take my deep hook, retract, shallow. Pull, and then around here, my elbow is connected to my quadriceps. It's leveraged like this. Next, come on over here. I'm gonna move my leg and place this foot on the near side around John's neck. So if you can see, I pull that in. Now you see why I retracted my arm. I retracted my arm because when I take the leg off the head, it's important that John can't get his elbow to the mat. Go ahead. See that? And if he tries really hard, he's gonna give me the arm bar. See that? So he can't, he can't exactly pull his arm out. If you're through deep, bad news. If you go here, he can drop his elbow through. See that? Bad news. So I shallow the grip, pull this into the neck. Now next, if John is dumb enough to sit up, I will just take the triangle. So watch, if John tries to get up right now, I'm just gonna take the triangle lock. Okay, we have a triangle. And now, once we get to here, come around this side, it really depends on what John wants to do at this moment. Does John want to get to his knees? If John wants to get to his knees, I'm gonna, just like Gaethje and Habib, I'm going to open my right leg and close it on the triangle, because I need an adjustment. So go ahead, get up to your knees. Open, close, get up, 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 up. And now, I'm gonna get my lock, flex my toes, and finish the triangle. Sorry about that, John. Go ahead, fall back down. Now, if John, if John, let's say you sit up again, but you don't, you don't come all the way up. Go ahead, sit up. I'm gonna walk, but John doesn't, now you see this gap? See that gap right there? That's the gap where you wanna open, close, and get him in a triangle. John, just look up towards the ceiling, and, and don't get up. You're just here, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I can't triangle you. If I just lock this triangle, guys, it's too open, like twist, like you're going back towards your back. Yeah, see, I can't like squeeze it and choke it. Open, open, open. Yeah, like that. I can't choke it. But what I can do, hold your hands, is I can get the arm bar now. Now from this grip, I go near the wrist and I start pulling. I'm gonna separate the grip, pull his arm, and now you have to know this. In this type of triangle, arm bar, I go palm up like this, palm up. If I go thumb up, it's not gonna work. John will sneak his elbow that way. No good. If that happens, turn it over here and go palm up and finish there. If John decides I don't like the pain of my arm, he may try to get up. Open, close, lock the triangle, and then make the angle over the side. I'm sorry, okay. There we go, is that fun? Okay. Yeah. Next, next question. What if John doesn't want to get up? When you take the leg off the head, John stays here. 
Remember, I'm pulling to the neck. I go palm down. Dive under the head. The back of my knuckles will lift his head, and I get my shin with my elbow in so his head can't go anywhere. Okay? With his head not going anywhere, I can now leverage. Try to stay where you are, John. I lean back. I lock. Now once I lock, John isn't in triangle choking territory right now. John is just in armbar defense. Let my arm jump. I'm gonna go near the wrist. And now it's time for maximum separation. Here, next, twist, palm goes up. John's trying to move around. Stuck. And I finish the arm bar. Your only option is get up. You gotta get up, get up. Here it is, locking the triangle. And for, I'm sorry about that. That's very tight. Okay. So let's go through it again. One more time. I'm sorry, gotta, gotta go through the whole thing. So we're here in the arm bar. Through the loop. John's defending. Remember, I go deep. Twist, lean. John rocks a couple times. I bite down on the neck. I'm riding the position. I'm riding. Oh, he gave me the arm bar. See that? If he ever gives the arm bar, take it. But if he keeps his hand and you're in this position, now I'm gonna retract, shoot through. Next, pull it into his neck. Shallow the grip underneath here. Lock him up. And now it's time for the arm bar. Okay? If he wants a triangle, I'll adjust if he wants it. If he just wants to defend, I'll go near the wrist. I'll separate. If the guy's really strong, see John's trying to hold my hand, I'll hold. Now we got a, this game going. See that? And this is gonna be won easily. Now look at him, his elbow's sneaking out, twist his palm, or he gets up. He turns belly down, turn belly down. Turn belly down. There it is. Yeah, that's good. Okay? I don't let him come up, I make him twist. I should have said that earlier. I make him twist, that's what gives me that adjustment for the triangle. Okay. Remember, once you guys are here, I'm going south arm, here. I can't get him to come to get to this one, here. It's too much, so I retract, shoot it through. Pull it into the neck. Shallow, look at this, it's got, before this leg comes off, you've gotta hit this. Now I'm coming under, grabbing. I don't know if he's gonna come up, he might try to move around. I'm try to go, no. yeah, stay try here. to stay, I'm trying to stay here. Now I pull him up. Try to peel. Lock. Oh, that's, I got fingers now. And now I'm gonna wear him out right here. This is all leverage. I'm not even working right now, but John's working hard, okay? And if you turn into me to get away from it, you gotta turn in. I'm trying, I'm trying, but my You gotta go belly down. Oh. You better go belly down, boy. Go belly down. You'll get out. <laughs> or go belly down, just turn over. Oh. Yes! Yeah, and now, but I ended up in. Okay, yeah. and he'll come right in the triangle. Serious. What do you think, John? I like it. All right. The, the detail about twisting the hips in the beginning is most important, especially for those. With this, uh, refining the details, that's what's going to help us. Yeah. The twist the hip, post. Yeah, learning, absorb, learning, learning the, the control. Rock, the control. This is, this is the, the south arm series. So south arm goes through the loop. Sure, we're going to have north arm go through the loop. There's all kinds of stuff for that. But this is south arm go through the loop for me. Um, we have other moves. This is just part two. That's all this is. We can always go over more things. So hope you guys enjoyed um, going from the armbar into a triangle position and still attacking the armbar. One last thing I gotta say, John, check it out. Why palm up? Because so many coaches say thumb up on elbows. Lay on your back, okay? So look at his arm. If we have thumb up, guys, in this position, the elbow is down. He can't move his elbow. If I control his wrist in his thumb position, his elbow's down, I push this up, I get an elbow lock. Now watch this. If John, just, just sit up again. Facing the camera. You've got John in a, in a triangle. If John's thumb is up, look at his elbow. His elbow can go to the side. You have thumb up, but the elbow's on the side. 
If you're in this position, facing John's face like this, you rotate the palm up and the elbow is down. But when you're in arm bar, lay back down, it's important that your thumb is up. It does, if you go palm up, his elbow will bend that way. It's kind of a weird mind, uh, what's the right, correct way to say it? A mind trick freak. For it, I, I want to say, you know what I want to say? It, it might mess with your mind. I'm tr uh, whatever. Mind. Uh, <laughs> mind. All right, this is a PG yes, video. Yes. PG. All right, <laughs> guys, do this on your own. Thumb, thumbs up, elbows go to the side. If my arms, I'm in an arm bar, I need to have thumbs up for my elbows to be down, okay? So triangles, you go palm up. Okay, once his head goes in the loop, it's a triangle style armbar. If you cover his head with your leg, you switch it to thumb up. Simple as that. That's good. Okay, good those, are, those are my rules. Follow them. Unless you don't want to. Thank you guys so much. Teach Me Grappling. Click the link down below at Patreon, PayPal. Contribute to this channel if you want to be a part of our membership. I just dropped a new video in the membership. You've got to be at the purple belt level or up. That's like 10 bucks a month to YouTube membership. For 10 bucks a month, you can get bonus content. But you guys know, if you guys don't have the funds, I'm always giving you guys top quality content in the regular channel right here. Come on back for more next time for more great stuff. Thank you.